All right, here you go, folks. Little Dave Wanstead, autographed football, hail to Pitt, and that's why we're here. Not to mention the best catch of the day, a little Delta Dental Insurance, because we're at uh, Dr. Bill Zamorello's office, as I mentioned, in the South Hills. So it's time to talk a little Pitt Panther football. Of course, the Panthers' spring game coming up this weekend. I know he'll be there. Pitt Dental School, they'll all be there cheering on the Panthers to see what they look like as far as the spring. This year, again, the game is going to be at Heinz Field, and we'll be talking about it with Coons Quality Food Sports. And, of course, also on the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show at 11 and throughout the week and weekend on 93.7 The Fan, your broadcast home of the Panthers. The Panthers get the first three games at home, including the showdown against Penn State and the ACC opener against Georgia Tech going 3-0 and is a must with only three home games remaining. Big break, the Panthers miss Clemson, Florida State, Louisville, and NC State. It also gets Virginia Tech at home. Six of the last nine games are on the road, including two rough runs of the three road games in four weeks with the home date versus Duke in the middle. They go to UCF and Notre Dame and close at Miami. So here's the schedule. The 29th of September, UCF, October 6th, Syracuse, October the 13th at Notre Dame, October the 20th. It's an open date to 27th Duke, November 2nd at Virginia, November 10th. Virginia Tech, November 17th at Wake Forest, November 24th at Miami, and December 1st ACC Championship game, keeping our fingers crossed. By the way, a pair of 8-5 and five and then 5-7 and seven and a missed bowl appearance for the first time since 07, since Pat Narduzzi has been on board and, of course, getting ready for 2018. Quarterback Kenny Pickett, sophomore from Oakhurst, New Jersey, is at the top of the death chart. He threw one touchdown pass in 66 attempts. He did lead them to an upset win over Miami. Left tackle Brian O'Neill declared for the NFL draft. Garlic guard Alex Officer graduated at right tackle. Jared Jones-Smith also out because of eligibility situations. Restructuring of the offensive line is a must for the 2018 Pitt Panthers. Downfield threat. Good news is that uh, Rafael Lopez and Maurice French are there. Bad news, the longest reception of their combined last year. 68 catches went for th 32 yards. Panther fans are hoping for six foot four junior Aaron Matthews to develop soon. He has the size, 205 pounds, and the speed to go with it. Defensive secondary Pitt has finished 127th and 106th in pass defense the last two years. Avante Maddox and Jordan Whitehead are both gone. Showtime for Dane Jackson and Damar Hamlin. Hopefully they can step up. Now here's something else you got to look at. New defensive coaches Josh Conklin is gone, and new coaches, uh, a new coach at FCS. Randy Bates, who spent the last 12 seasons as a linebacker coach, we've been talking a lot about him at Northwestern as your new defensive coordinator. Charlie Partridge will be in his second year as defensive line coach. Also new coaches in the secondary, Archie Collins and Corey Sanders. Linebacker coach Bob Harley does return for his fourth season as linebacker coach. There you have it. Lots more, of course, as we get ready for the spring game. And remember to tune into the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday show at 11. And now from Dr. Bill Zamorello's office, open wide. Time to let them do what they do best. Have a great day, everybody, from your practice. Pat Pack. Enjoy the sunshine. Good afternoon.